So Greg, a 3-0 victory against Kelty Hearts. You must be pleased with the 90 minutes. I'm absolutely delighted. I don't think there's any anything I can fault my team tonight. Um, I thought player for player, they were outstanding. You know, even the younger boys that came on. And it's very rare we say that as coaches. Um, <laughs> the way they went about, you know, their performance from the first minute to half time, you know, even the end of the game was outstanding. Um, and every single day we've been in for the last four weeks. The press came out tonight, you know, they won the ball higher up the pitch. The decision making when they got it was excellent. The way they countered a couple of the goals was, you know, some great individual stuff, but just the pace in which they went forward was was very good to watch. Some people maybe look at the goals, Stuart Morrison, great strike, Lewis McCann, a great solo goal, but Lewis Crosby set up at two of them I think so it shows you that you know these guys are, are also you know contributing and it's not just one player that's getting the credit no that's right and I think I think as well you know that it's not just McCann that can score goals of Callum Smith you know obviously tonight you know Stuart added one but it's where the goals are coming from that's most important you know the development they've had in the last you know two three last last year even from last year since they came to Kelly it's night and day you know the way they've grown as, as a group and the way they've bought into how we want to play. It's so exciting. Um, but no, I mean, I said to them before the game, the boys were hurting last year when they came here and lost 5-0. A younger, you know, a mature team, you know, that, that came here and got a bit of a hiding. Um, but they've learnt for that and they've had a good year. So it's, it's how these boys in the fringes are pushing the first team players. That's how it works. If they're not pushing the first team players, there's no pressure on them. Um, these half boys have to keep on pushing again the first team. Likewise, the, the next batch that come on at the end of the game, the last 20 minutes, these boys have to push the, the boys that were on from the start, and that's how it works. You know, so I think um, you know they're in a good place right now. You know, they, they're competing all over, and it's great to be part of. I mean, I'm so proud of them tonight because they were outstanding. When you look at the game overall, was the most pleasing aspect the fact that you went and almost dominated that first half and scored three goals or was it the fact that over the 90 minutes you kept a clean sheet against an experienced team? Well I think the first half, the, the way that how, how they played, you know just the pace and how they moved the ball and how they got forward. We've been working on the press a lot with them and Callum Smith and Matty Todd and McCann and Crosby really, really got it. Uh, it was hard because they played. I thought they played a diamond first half, it was hard to play against at times. It was different for us, then they changed it a little bit the second half but it was just the overall, I mean, you, you press for the front, you want it higher up the pitch. We made them make mistakes, we got it in good areas, and it, the rest was up to McCann, McCann Callum Smith, and Crosby. Um, and obviously, Stuart Morris and Paul did a good job behind that. But for a player, every single one of them was excellent. But that's, you know, that's from the start of the season, you know, that's from last season. And it's great to watch at times because it's all coming together. And it's sometimes very rare that, that happens. When you speak to a lot of coaches or managers, especially at pre-season friendlies, they say the most important thing is just fitness, but do you take anything else away from tonight apart from that? I wanted to win the night. First and foremost, I said that to them in there. How far he's came in a year? You know, can you win the game? Um, and I said to them last year, you know, how, how, how high do you want to raise the bar? I, knew, I know how fit they are as a group. Um, and, and they raised that bar a little bit more tonight, so the expectation level now for this group comes a little bit higher. So. You know, it's all about boys looking up to each other. We, I made an example earlier, you know, Paul, Paul Allen will look up to Paul Payton because he's in this position for the first team. Then it's the, the group behind that that's looking up to Paul Allen and learning for them. You know, and then it's down the academy that's learning for these kids. That's how it all works. They've got to push each other and they've got to see what they're doing and how well they do it. The crowd tonight, 731, a, a decent crowd for the youngsters to come and play in front of and a couple of local friendlies as well against Hillebeath and Crossgate still to come, so you'll be hoping that Dunfermline fans will continue to come out and get behind the youngsters. Well, that's the thing, I mean, it's, obviously it'll be a completely different lineup on Saturday than it was tonight. You know, likewise it was the civil service game, it was different that night as well. So it's good for the supporters to see the, the depth of our squads um, and, and feel excited about you know how well we're all doing. Um, but you know, it'll be a different team, uh, it'll be a younger team.